In this video, I will focus on traditional Sanger sequence assembly using Seekman Ultra. From the DNA Star Navigator, launch Seekman Ultra. Select New Assembly from the Launch menu on the left, then click on New Sanger ABI Assembly under Molecular Biology. From the Unassembled Sequences window, click Add and navigate to your ABI sequence files. Here I will select these 14 files from the DNA Star demo data. Sigman Ultra will trim your data based on trace quality as well as the presence of vector. By default, Sigman Ultra will use its built in vector catalog to perform trimming, but you can also specify your own vector sequences by checking this box and navigating to your vector sequences. Click Trim Now to perform trimming prior to assembly, then review the trimming for any sequence by double clicking on it to view it in the preview window. Drag the arrows at either end of a sequence to expose or adjust trimmed ends. Trimmed vector sequence is shown in orange and poor quality sequence is shown in yellow. After evaluating trace data, click Assemble. If you look under the Explorer tab on the right, you should see that the assembly resulted in one contig being created. To open the alignment view, simply double click on contig 1. To see the entire contig, slide the green bar near the top of the alignment to the left to zoom out. What you might notice is that the coverage graph has areas of different colors. The histogram is color coded based on depth of assembly and sequence directionality. The blue area indicates single direction coverage, and the red area indicates single read coverage. The green area shows coverage on both strands. Tooltips will appear when you hover your mouse over different parts of the histogram. This can help you determine if a position meets the threshold requirements. At the top right of the view, the Restore Default Zoom tool lets you zoom in to view details of the contig. To view trace data, simply right-click on any sample name on the left, then choose Expand All. To reveal the trimmed trace data, Click and drag the black triangle on either side of a sequence. The trim sequence will appear with a yellow background and the conflicts between the restore data and the consensus are indicated in red text. The default yellow highlighting indicates conflicts. You can locate these individually using the search alignment tool. Make sure the find menu has conflict selected. Then click the green arrows to go from one conflict to the next. You may wish to edit your consensus. For example, if you want to remove an insertion, simply click on the consensus area and hit the backspace key. You can also edit individual sequences the same way. Finally, you can save your project or export your data by clicking Export Data, Consensus, then selecting the contig. You can export your data with or without gaps.